Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jay from Sony Alpha Lab, and what I got here is the Sony FE 100mm f2.8 STF GM OSS lens. And in this quick video, I'm just going to show you what this lens is capable of in the lab. I just wanted to show you some lab testing photos. So this particular lens has a smooth trans focus technology built in, which basically means it uh, has a special super smooth bokeh rendering um, thanks to a special filter that Sony decided to put in there. And uh, it does stop down to f5.6, even though the lens is technically f2.8. So let me just show you what this does in the lab especially as it compares to the 85mm FE 1.8 lens that I just recently did lab testing on, okay? So as you can see here, wide open at f5.6, if you look at the top left, that is as wide as the aperture goes as far as the camera is concerned, even though it's an f2.8 lens, okay? So that special filter in there darkens up, you know, the light transmission quite a bit, all right? So anyways, this is what it looks like wide open. I focused on the very edge of the quarter here. And I'll just zoom in so you can see. There is a slight hint of green fringing I do see on the high contrast edge here. It's very minimal, and if I applied the lens correction, it would probably fix that. But I just want to show you what the raw output looks like in this video. So there's f5.6. Here is f6.3, and you can just see how gorgeous the bokeh balls are on this particular lens rendering. And same thing with the out-of-focus lab area. I mean, it's just super, super buttery smooth. And notice how the bokeh balls are, are perfectly round all the way in the corners, and there's no, like, distortion in that regard. And uh, especially when comparing to the FE 85mm f1.8 that I just showed, you can clearly see the difference in the bokeh rendering. So this lens is specialized in that area in particular, and you can clearly see what it, what, you know, what it provides here. This is a perfect example. All right, now I'm stopping down here to F8. Now I'm just gonna focus on the dollar bill here, and this is just a sharpness test, and I also wanted to show you this dreamy, glowy bokeh rendering that you get on the quarter, and also this other bolt in the back. And also, look at how the bokeh balls are rendering. They actually look like bubbles or something. It's incredible. So again, look at the sharpness. This is a GM lens, so you would expect absolute top quality sharpness, and you do get that all the way all the way in the corner. Even in the corner, the images are exceptionally sharp, okay? So that's really, really high quality. And then looking at the coins here, they look fantastic. I really don't see any flaws whatsoever. Maybe a very slight hint of purple on the edges here, but it, it's hard to notice. And again, you can see the fibers on the crayons, and the sharpness is excellent all the way into the corner and everything. So phenomenal optical quality here, as you would expect. Not exactly a cheap lens. It is a GM lens. So you're going to pay for this super high quality optic. And this lens is particularly good for portraits. So I'm going to show you some sample portraits when I do the full review. But in this video, I'm just going over the lab test shots. So this is f16 and this is f22. So again, you could see the bokeh rendering is quite amazing and very consistent all the way to the corner, which is, you know, worth noting. All right, and here's just another one at the minimum focus distance. I'll just go through it really quick so you can get a look. And then wide open here, it just butters out to this ridiculous smooth bokeh. All right. So that is pretty much it for this video, guys. I will catch up with you next time. So be sure to subscribe. And also, if you're interested in the Sony E-mount lenses, be sure to check out my Sony E-mount lens guide right here. You could just click this button here, click on the guide. It'll come up. And if you scroll down, you will see all the available Sony full-frame E-mount lenses. And I have links to the reviews. And also, if you scroll down, all the available Sony E-mount lenses are shown in this particular guide. So you got Zeiss, you got all sorts of stuff, Sigma, Tamron, and so forth. All right, guys. So again, have a great day. I appreciate the uh, support, and I'll catch up with you next time.